must say it's magical to arrive at our driveway every week. I just take a deep breath and feel the stresses of the week disappear. My name is Thomas Hamill and I'm the principal of Thomas Hamill & Associates, a Sydney-based interior design company. Welcome to Cliffside. Cliffside House is about an hour south of Sydney in the Royal National Park. I've never seen a site like it. It's the most magical place with these boulders that literally look like they've been thrown from dinosaurs upon the landscape. We originally fell in love with the house. The layout of it was 80% there. We just wanted to really add the layer of personalization and make it our home. Designing a home for oneself is always complicated, but it's even more so when you're an interior designer and your partner is not only an interior designer, but a furniture and product designer. It comes with lots of complications because we know of so many things. So the process is always about honing your thoughts and your wishes and your desires. And the mood somewhat evolved from all of the incredible treasures and souvenirs that I had collected in my life and George separately had been collecting in his life. We certainly used the boulders and the location to inform us about how the palette should work inside the home. With all of the materials, we wanted everything to have a natural cohesion. We wanted to have this natural plaster texture, which was achieved through a wallpaper that George was able to custom make for us in Los Angeles. We also wanted the furnishings to have a similar harmony about them. So we've used a lot of rough hewn timbers and almost like we had taken pieces of timber out of the forest and turned them into sculptural and interesting pieces of furniture. Another important place to focus on textures and the materials that we used was for the floors. In the search for flooring materials, Eco Outdoor is always one of the first places that I would take my clients. And so we started there. We immediately were drawn to Technoferma, this incredible ceramic-based flooring material. We thought it was a wonderful choice because it's robust, it's hardy, but it still has that natural texture, but none of the issues of worrying about sealing and staining and details like that. At the same time, we did want the warmth and texture that a timber floor can provide. So we decided to use that in all of the bedroom areas. In seeing the samples of willow wood at Eco Outdoor, we were immediately enthralled because it was just what we had in our dreams. We needed one junction of all these materials though, and we found this very special fossilized stone that acts as the cube that combines the two areas together. As the final layer, it was then time for us to blend together all of our existing art and also find new pieces. We're very much about sculpture and so you'll see that there's quite a bit of sculpture throughout the house. Amazing art that has been acquired through gallery visits around the world. I always say to clients and I certainly feel it for myself that it's very important to have souvenirs of your travels and things that remind you of these trips and you should be able to live with them daily. I think the most important part of the project has been this new passion for gardening and for understanding gardens and, and the natural world around us. We've spent a great deal of time and we're very proud of what we've achieved with making this garden feel as it's always been here, but at the same time special. It's always a pleasure to share the home with people and, and guide them through it, but we always end up with the wonderful upstairs sitting room. It's magical because you can 
the sea, the ever-changing ocean and the coastline all the way down to Wollongong, but yet you can turn the other direction and look into the national park in the bush and feel like you are the only person in the world.